Lex, it is the end of the world. Looks like it is the end of the world. Ah! Looks like it is the end of the world. Hello, everyone. In this episode, episode 7, I will show a more advanced Comfy UI OVI workflow. I did show a basic workflow in the previous episode, but is more advanced. It uses the WAN video wrapper, which is a more complex workflow that can control the output much better. As previously explained, WAN OVI is a video plus audio generator in Comfy UI, with streamlined setup, selectable precision, attention back end control, and per node device targeting for multi GPU rigs. This will require a lot of resources on your local PC using Comfy UI as well. The minimum required VRAM is 15 gigabytes. For a better performance and faster speed, 24 gigabytes is recommended. Today I will be using the RTX 3090 card which has 24 gigabytes of VRAM and I will show you how I run OVI image to video with sound with a little over 15 gigabytes of VRAM on my rig. On this rig I also have 96 gigabytes of RAM available for offloading models if needed. However, 24 gigabytes is more than sufficient for a 5 second video. Okay, let's get started. We will start here. This is where we load our reference image for our first frame. We then resize the image as needed, which will also be the size of our output video. Here we load the VAE. All links to the models are available in the workflow, which I will show later. The num frames is the length of the video. At 97 frames, we will get a 4 second video at 13 frames per second. The image is then fed into the encoder before processing. Here we will enter our video and audio prompts as well as selecting our text encoder models. As described in the original file from comfy.org, the format for the audio or speech is as shown here. It is not very well known to me how this actually works, but so far this is working okay for me now. I have to experiment further. Here we load our models, both video models and audio models, as well as our VAE for audio decoding. This section is important for VRAM management and performance. These settings can be tweaked to your needs. You may want to experiment with them. For my settings, this works pretty well. Here we configure some settings for our video, also experimental. I tried 125 and it works okay for a 4 second video. Next, the sampler settings usually defaults to these values shown here. However, I have tried 30 steps and it did work, but with lesser quality. The default and recommended frame rate is 24 as it will sync the audio with the video pretty well, at least on my settings. Here are the download links for all required models. I have tried FV8, which did not work very well on my PC, so I switched to the recommended version, the BF15 model. When clicking on the links, the repo which hosts the files will open. Click the preferred model to download.
Here we load all the files we downloaded from the repo. Here we load the text encoder. If you don't have the model, you can download it from the link in the description. I will be using 97 frames, which will produce a 4 seconds video. For the audio length, I use 125 as it works all croquet. We will start with loading our reference image. I will set the resize value to 848 by 848. Then see how the image looks. Right click on the preview node and select Q selected output nodes. As you can see, it automatically adjusts the image size to the appropriate size. I will prompt the video and audio as shown here. Now I will run the workflow. This will take some time. I will fast forward to see the results. Okay, the sampling step is done. Now decoding the latent is in progress. I am using tiled VAE to further save VRAM and to test how much VRAM will be the least amount used to run this workflow. As you can see, it took the whole workflow to run 472 seconds, which is almost 8 minutes for a 4 second video. I can't find my doll. Can you help me find me? I can't find my doll. Can you help me find me? I can't find my doll. Can you help me find me? I can't find my doll. Can you help me find me? 
I think the details are not that bad, actually. I can't find my doll. Can you help me find him? She said. I can't find I ran a couple more off camera with new reference images and here are the results. Sorry for the audio. At the time I was recording these last few videos, the audio didn't register correctly. Anyway, as you have seen earlier, I have shown some better outputs at the beginning of this video. Okay, that should be it for this episode. I really do hope that you can generate good results and maybe share in the comments. If you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to comment below. If you think this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you all. So now I can talk. So now I can talk. So now I can talk. I can talk. The f no. Now 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 I can talk. So I can talk. So it? 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 So I can talk. So I can. So I can talk. So it? <gasps> Looks like it really is the end of a Looks like it is the end of the world. Looks like it is the end of the world. Looks like it is the end of the world. Ah! Looks like it is the end of the world.